Hi guys and welcome back to my channel with Fade Art. Belinda here. Hi. I'm just putting my gloves on quickly. So I've been doing a bit of experimenting and trying to get a particular outcome. And um, I might as well show you. So I have this one here which is, um, you know, different thicknesses, three different thicknesses of paint. Um, and this one here, trying to work with the gold. Um, and of course I've done another one with, um, if I can lift it off here, seems to be stuck. Oh, I just messed it up. But anyway, that's um, not actually dry. And that was with the um, the white satin enamel. I wasn't actually happy with any of those outcomes. It wasn't really what I'm after. So hopefully today I'll get definitely what I'm after. So I'm just going to coat my canvas. I've painted the edges so that I've got a good coverage. So this black is actually thinner than normal, just as a, a base coat. So I'm hoping to be able to enter this one into a an art competition. It's not not a major competition, but um, I don't know. We'll see. If it turns out right, then yes. Right. Um, I'll see you in a bit after I've coated this. So this canvas here is an 18 by 24 inch. I'm looking at probably about uh, 450 moles maybe. So I'm just putting in my base. So that's just plain black and then I have um, teal and all of my paints have been mixed 2 to 1 low troll probably about 20% water not much at all And this beautiful purple is um, Deco Art. Metallic. And um, it's just also um, Liquitex Basics. Normal. Just a plain purple. And I've got Fader Blue. And I have some of this beautiful 24 karat gold as well. 
and that is mixed one to one. So we're on 450. <clears throat> I might actually just put a little bit more gold here and I want to water this down so I can use it again around the edges. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll have enough. Bring this bad boy back. I've adjusted my cameras and I hopefully you're going to be able to get the full shots or as much as possible. I'd like to impart some knowledge with everybody today. <clears throat> when I do my pores, I always look for, I look at the composition because, you know, I don't like it to end up dead center because um, it's not easy on the eye. So the eye is used to looking at um, things in a certain in relation to a certain pattern, and <clears throat> and that pattern is actually your eye goes immediately to the golden mean. So while I pour this and tell you the story, if you don't want to hear about it. Perhaps you can just mute it and then um, just watch the video. So, the Fibonacci, which is actually a sequence of numbers, is um, that was actually from back in the day, I think it was 1180 to 1250 <coughs> and it was Leonardo Pisano Biagolo who actually came up with it and Fibonacci is, it means the son of Fibonacci. Years ago, I actually researched this because I came across it accidentally and it was the golden ratio that was quite um, intriguing for me. And because I like numbers, um, I found that, you know, I was researching it more and more. Let me just torch this. This um, torch. So I do like what's going on, what's happening here, but I would have preferred a bit more gold in the center opposed to all that black. Now, why is it leaning again? My table is completely flat. Right, so back to the golden mean. So with the golden mean and the Fibonacci, the golden mean is pretty much where your eye actually focuses in a point to a point, which is actually pretty much uh, um, goes on for infinity. 
and then your eye will go to a different spot or it will follow I will put up a picture and you'll, it, it'll follow a certain pattern So you do have to you have to work out the golden mean um, on a golden rectangle basically to get this point. So in all of my art, because I'm actually also a fine artist, um, oil paintings, etc. And <clears throat> you know I try and, and stick to as close as possible. To the golden mean so Fibonacci actually um, is a sequence of numbers Clearly, the talking and the working is not really going very well. I don't know if you can, um, hopefully you can see what is actually going on here. I'm already getting what I'm after. Yay. So Fibonacci um, is actually, you find it in everything in life, the Fibonacci sequence, which is actually um, a shape. It's even in people, it's in you, it's in everybody and everything, it's in flowers. Um, in the petals and in the okay so like I said um, you know I work towards not being in the center I'm just bringing this off center. If you can't work towards the golden mean, then try your best to get it thirds. So I always have that in mind. Okay, I just want to take some of this here. So I might just use that spoon. And put that over the edge there so the golden rectangle is the perfect rectangle for the eye so advertisers um, use the golden mean and photographers use it most TVs I'm not sure if it's all TVs but most TVs are actually designed with a golden rectangle
and um, <clears throat> yeah so you just you can work towards that look it up google it read up on it if you're interested I thought I'd just um, share some knowledge on that you know I've heard a lot of people talking about uh, it's um, the golden uh, the, uh, Fibonacci no it's not and I'm the kind of person who I like to talk about things in the correct sense so to speak and like I said you know I've practiced it and I've put it I've put it into practice with all of my art and um, yeah it's uh, definitely is good for the eye appeasing to the eye so I'm just going to give this a torch and then I'm going to bring you guys down to give you a closer look I hope I didn't bore you too much with the Fibonacci sequence and the golden mean and the golden ratio <laughs> Um, yeah, like I said, you know, like um, when people talk about things like that, I, I prefer it if they know what they're talking about. So these on the corner, some of them that are coming up here and there, I would really have preferred it to be little circle pearly kind of effect some of it is so the more you stretch it and the more you leave it the more they will pop up and remembering that there is no silicone in here in my paint at all so just popping some of these bubbles is already bringing some more out. I'm so happy about that. And of course, you know, this gold is absolutely stunning. Okay guys, I'm going to bring you in for a closer look. So this has been sitting for quite some time. I've been actually waiting for the sun to shine through. Um, so you can see a bit more clear in the light. I think these cells came out really beautiful. And I love the colours. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful the corners here um, unfortunately I did overstretch them because um, I think what I should have done really is stretch this part out more first before I actually tilted it off so yes lesson learned and um, that is exactly what I'll do next time but these pearl cells are just beautiful. And of course this corner is also a bit stretched out. There are some pearl cells there. And this side is also stretched, this corner. Although I don't mind it very much because it kind of frames the painting. So I did add a little bit of gold swirl into the center. I just found it was a little bit too bland. But yeah, I think this um, really is going to be quite a showpiece. Well guys, thank you very much for watching. And um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and hit the notifications bell so you could see future videos. You get notification. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.